My name is Tanya Kalmanovich, and I'm working on a new project, a documentary play with music called the Tarzan Songbook. For most of my life, if someone asked me where I was from, I didn't have an easy answer. Fort McMurray wasn't on the map. But a few years ago, something changed. Projects like the Keystone XL pipeline became front page news, and suddenly, I didn't have to explain where I was from. I could just say oil sands, and not only do people know where it was, they had opinions about it. It's like this guy I met who said he'd gone to Fort McMurray because he wanted to see ground zero for climate change. Ground zero. This is where I was born. It's where my dad's ESSO station was. It's where my mother heard a symphony orchestra for the first time. My father moved us there to work for the great Canadian oil sands. My stepfather was an engineer for Suncor. Oil convened the people and forces that shaped my life. Fifty years ago, they opened the world's first oil mine near Fort McMurray. A trailblazing industrial experiment turned Canada into a world energy leader. But it's also transformed the land and its people irreparably. I became a musician because it had nothing to do with oil. It's taken me until now to see that the things I had imagined to be separate, music and oil, Past and progress, art and business, remote northern towns and the capitals of the world are in fact closely intertwined. Oil, like music, is an elixir of possibility. As a child, music seduced me with beauty, promise, and dreams. Oil, as it turns out, is not so different. There are many things we can't change. But one thing we can change is the story we tell about ourselves. So last year, I went back to Fort McMurray for the first time since I was a child, and further north to Fort Chippewan, a small community downstream from the mining operations. I interviewed engineers, indigenous activists, heavy equipment operators, elders, scientists, and members of my own family. Their stories, and mine, are the heart of the Tar Sands Songbook. It's a documentary play with music about how we remember our life before oil and how we imagine our life after oil. We might spend a minute or two on a news article or a few seconds on a soundbite. But in a theater, audiences gather to wrestle collectively with complex issues, and they're doing it together in real time. For this piece, I've written songs with sparrows, propane cannons, and pipelines. I hear like rubble. Sounds like Mordor. And I've also been searching for other notes. Not just notes of fear, but the notes of joy and resilience. These are the songs of the Tar Sands Songbook. We've turned a corner in our conversation about climate change. But after the oil sands pass the event horizon, their legacy will be felt for generations to come. This project offers an opening. Knowing about oil and the urgency of climate change is different from entering into these issues imaginatively. I'm hoping to offer people a way to explore their relationships to energy, the choices they make, and the possibilities for the future.